I know they watching, I'ma make them sweat. Put your money down, place your bet. Degenerate, yeah, I'm a sicko. Who else gonna get you to the window? I know they watching, I'ma make them sweat. Put your money down, place your bet. Welcome to Graybo's Giblets, part of the NoOffseason.com Sports Card Network. We're out here dropping giblets. I'm your host, Graybo, and like always, I'm joined by Denny one time and Fitz to break down the Week 9 NFL slate. How we doing, fellas? Block up, block up. <laughs> here he is. Yeah, second. Second. Fitz has no response to that. No response. All right, before we go to the board, remember, you can go on WhatNot, get $15 on by joining through whatnot.sportscardstrategy.com. So to recap, Denny is 11 and 13 overall, Fitz 14, 10 and 1. Gray is 16 and 9. Uh, a couple highlights, the Bengals plus 4. Fitz is booing me uh, in the background. Bengals beat your 49ers again. Uh, Fitz, and, uh, excuse me, another loss for your 49ers. Not great week for us, guys. So let's bounce back here. I think all of us went one and two in that segment. Two and one. Oh, I'm sorry. You did go two and one. I appreciate that. I remember y'all told me not to read those this time. So well, there you go. Cut that out. You're, you're welcome. To get... <laughs> you're welcome. To get... <laughs> the record's actually you're welcome to do that. Actually. Okay. All right. See, if I just read it, I would have them accurately. But, you know, my feedback, you know, we're very negative. About totally noted. All right, Denny, here we go. Let's uh, get to the board. Who are we going with this week? All right, guys. We are taking Seattle, getting six points at Baltimore. Obviously, I like the Ravens to win. But uh, when you write off Geno, he doesn't write back. Let's take the six points in a, in a close loss. Um, give me uh, Cleveland laying eight versus Arizona at home. It doesn't matter who plays quarterback for Cleveland because of their defense. Arizona is doo-doo, and now they're doo-doo without Josh Dobbs, so that's doo-doo on a stick. Um, so, finally, uh, I don't quite understand why Green Bay's laying more than a field goal against the Rams. It makes no sense. It's, it's a sucker bet, I'm sure, but uh, I'm a sucker. Give me the Rams getting three and a hook. I think Stafford is very questionable. What's fine. To play. Jordan, Love. His... Jordan Love is questionable in <laughs> football. Too. I think that's why. And then, are you scared of Kyler coming back for Arizona? No. <laughs> All right, Fitz, who are we going with, my man? Let's continue the hot streak, that 2-1 and one record from last week. Yeah, we're excited. The Niners are on a bye, so I don't have that pain for at least a week. Uh, I'm going to go with the Eagles, minus 2.5 against the Cowboys. Uh, I think the Eagles are a wagon, and I think they'll expose the Cowboys. I'm going to go with the Commanders, plus 3.5 versus the Patriots. <laughs> uh, Commanders with a rejuvenated front defensive line. They don't need... Chase Young or Montez Sweat, they'll be fine. Patriots are trash. And we'll go with a little Monday night action for the guys again on tilt like I am at the end of the week. We'll take the Chargers who are starting to catch their stride. Minus three against the Jets. Shane hates that pick. He's sitting next to me. We haven't introduced our special guest yet, but uh, he's he coming. It. I, li- I, like the- I like the Chargers. Man. I'm going uh, very different this week. All overs. All over us, no spreads. Wow. Uh, this is one of the worst weeks in the NFL season. Go see all the starting quarterbacks uh, in DFS. It's, it, it's ugly. It's, it is ugly. So let's take the quarterbacks that are good and go over. Bills and Bengals over 48 and a half. Shootout game. Cowboys and Eagles over 46. Shootout game. Don't think the Cowboys D can stop Jalen Hurts. Ravens and Seahawks. So Denny has Seahawks plus six. I like the over 43. Lamar and Gino are going to cook. So I'm going all overs. We're hitting all of them. Love it. This week sucks. All right, let's go to our props. And remember, at Graybo's, you can get 10% off any purchase at Graybo's.co by using the promo code STRATEGY2023, all lowercase. Even the numbers. Even the numbers. (laughs) <laughs> Denny's so funny best prop bets of the week here we go all three of our prop bets cashed uh, last week put in the bank um, 
ETN over 60 and a half was a win, 79 rushing yards. Way to go, Denny. Badgett over 193 and a half passing yards. He threw for 232. No touchdowns, but that didn't matter. Two picks didn't matter. Fitz, good win. Thielen over five and a half receptions is just the lock of the century. He had eight. Uh huh. And how much does it cost? Um, it's free. I see. And when is it? It's this weekend. Uh, we just keep riding that. We should keep doing it. But we're not. All right. So Duke is three and six overall. Fitz is five and four, and I'm five and six. Duke, you starting to like prop bets? I wouldn't say I'm fond of it yet. Give me a couple more weeks. I would say the only reason I won last week is I took a running back against the Steelers. I'm going to do the same thing this week. Give me the D train. Derrick Henry over 71 and a half rushing yards. Roto Grinders projects him at 86. I'll take it. I thought he was going to get moved before the trade deadline. I heard Ravens. If, if he does, Shane's I, shaking his head, yes. Derrick Henry over 71 and a half versus the Steelers. Thursday night. Yep. Tomorrow night. All right, Fitz. What we got, man? So I'm going to have a celebrity pick. So I'm, I'm going to take Shane's for my for my record, but I'm going to keep an eye on some new guys this week when the when the props come out. So Cedric Tillman coming in, uh, replacing DPJ on the Browns. I'd like to, to see him get involved in the offense. He has hardly played this year. Shout out, Chuck. Shout out, Chuck. I'm also going to keep an eye on all these new quarterbacks this week. So I think I might parlay like a four-leg interception. <laughs> I love that. O- o- O'Connell for the Raiders, Jaron Hall for the Vikes, Heineke for the Falcons, and Clayton Toon. I mean, the cards. It is so ugly. Even even if Dobbs takes over the Vikings, you could just throw his name in there. Dobbs, yeah, who's do, now a Viking. Do Vikings interception. Vikings yeah. interception. It is, it is ugly this week. So for me, oh, sorry, my bad. So we need a bet to ride on, and Fitz has combined. Uh, I appreciate you letting me on and make yep. but you mentioning all of the bad quarterbacking is actually something that I'm depending on in my profits. And we're going to go with Heineken. Under 35 and a half yards. Okay. Love I like it. that. Love it. I don't think he could throw it that far. I don't think he, you know, that's probably point number one of the likelihood of the Falcons throwing the ball very low. They're four and a half favorites. Third, the second lowest implied total Sunday. going to be running the ball. And I think you had mentioned something called a Jaron Hall. It'll be a Josh Dobbs. Either of those something <laughs> is great for them. So, you know, maybe if Heineke was able to throw the ball downfield, who would he throw it with? Drake London, who's questionable. Oh, that hurts. Or maybe it's Kyle Pitts, who the Falcons have still unable to find a way to get the ball. If you remember <laughs> last week, there was a singular play that will, that will scare Falcons fans for the rest of their lives, where the second string tight end is throwing the ball to the third string tight end. Who's out there blocking the highest drafted tight end of all time? <laughs> That's incredible. Uh, yeah, I think I'll ride that one as well. I love that. I think Shane has drafted Kyle Pitts a lot in his fantasy leagues. There's <laughs> some pain behind. Uh, for me, I'm going to any time touchdown parlay. Jonathan Taylor Thomas, JTT, Colts. Kamara, Saints. AJ Brown, who's been a scoring machine. I trade him. All right, so JTT, Kamara, AJ Brown, anytime touchdown parlay. I love it. Let's get it. All right, now let's go to the probably the ugliest segment of the week. Uh, DFS picks. Winning week. Denny. Yeah, we cash, baby. Woo wee. Yeah. Winning week for Grabo's Giblets. This week, if you want to take a break, I understand. We never do. Uh, we should. Uh, because this is gonna this is gonna be ugly. This is going to be ugly. Great. We're, There's we're, no off season, especially <laughs> during the season. I I'm just gamble responsibly. I get paid to uh, say it's no off season as many times. as That's possible. right, baby. Some highs that we had last week. We had Trey McBride, great pick. McBride and the uh, Kamara, CD Lamb, the Cowboys stack. We had Dak, CD, and Ferguson. Uh, they all hit in the first freaking quarter, but we had a lot of Tony Pollard and. He stunk it up. I think that killed us. We could have made a lot more money if we put in another running back. Denny, did you reserve our contest? No, but I will now that I see your, your message oh, here. God. Um, it's all about contest. Quarterback is ugly, Denny. What are we doing at quarterback? Yeah, if you want some stand-up comedy, like if you want to just laugh, just go open up DraftKings and go look at your, your options at quarterback. It is atrocious. Um, 
So who who am I taking up top? Probably nobody. But if I do pay up, it'll be Hertz. You know, I think Hertz is. They, you talk about you hear about the tush push and the brotherly shove all the time, but that makes a lot of one yard touchdowns in a long season. That that's just extra value, and I, I think he's going to find a way to score. The best like projected dollar fancy point per dollar quarterback with that time and close really is Baker Mayfield, which is interesting. So I think there's plenty of value there. I think he'll be chalky because of that. So I'll probably find some ways to get different in tournaments, but those two guys are my main quarterbacks for cash games and smaller field tournaments. Yes, this is the week to get different. Get different. Don't be afraid, you know, to go, what's his name, Clayton Toon, if you start in Arizona. Yeah, let me look what Levis I did mean, last week, right? Yeah, right, exactly. Um, that's that's the other thing. We didn't have a lot of DeAndre Hopkins. He had three touchdowns. That was huge uh, for DFS. Uh, but yeah, I have Baker. Uh, Baker's the highest projected, and that scares me. So I'll probably actually be off of him to get different. Derek Carr is not a bad play. Sam Howe, after throwing for 400 yards and four touchdowns and losing against the Eagles, um, his value is still good at the price he's at. And then I also like C.J. Stroud. I mean, those are the four like good quarterbacks that I – I'm about to play, and that's not good. You have no Mahomes, no Tua, because they play at 9.30 in the morning, so they're not on the main slate. So with no Dolphins and Chiefs, um, it's real ugly. And running back, it's also really ugly. So Duke, who are we going at running back? That running back, I think they're going to – I'm still taking Kamara. He's been hot, catching a lot of balls. That's pretty obvious. In the middle of the road, looking at Bijan. His price is down because of lack of usage. And he's in a spot, as Shane mentioned, where I think he will be at the rock. Finally, on the cheaper end, you can still take De Mercado, the guy for the Cardinals. He's still under 5K, pretty cheap. Yeah, De Mercado is the play. If you're going the lower end, will be popular. If you're trying to jam in probably all the receivers. Love JTT this week. Uh, like I said, with uh, my anytime touchdown prop, I think the Colts pound the rock against the Panthers. Ramondre Stevenson is not a bad play in New England. I really like Rashad White in Tampa Bay. The dude just kept like they just throw dump passes and he just rack. I mean that's a that's a that's a half a point in DFS every time he gets that one yard catch. Uh, he's on the field every. I mean they don't even. You're a Bucks fan, uh, Shane. They don't even play Chase Edmonds, do they? Yes, I love that. You tell me six seven catches a week uh, for his price. Um, that. That's a, also a guy not a lot of people are talking about this week. So you want to pivot from uh, DeMarcado. White's a good play. And then why am I doing this? I guess Tony Pollard. I'm going back to <laughs> We go back to him every week because he projects so well and he just freaking burns us. Maybe we throw him in a couple of lineups. Wide receiver. I mean, also not great. This week sucks. <laughs> this week is terrible. Well, yeah. So, Denny, help us out, wide receiver. Yeah, you're going to be playing a lot of names that you might not be that familiar with this week, I believe. Um, at the top, you know, A.J. Brown, similar to Tyreek, is just having an inspired year. And so normally you don't play guys after two or three big games because you think they're going to regress back to the mean. But, with, with you know, Tyreek's not on this slate. But uh, with Tyreek and A.J. Brown, I'm not afraid to con- continue to play them because uh, something special is happening there in both of those spots. They just seem like possessed to put up put up numbies, and Fitz loves numbies. Middle of the road, looking at Michael Thomas, who I don't really love, but I think it's a good spot for him. Good, good value, good price. And two cheaper guys, you got Demario Douglas and Noah Brown. You know, Douglas um, should pick up some of the uh, Kendrick Bourne slack. And then Noah Brown projects really well, and he's he's really, really cheap, so it's a free square there. You know it's a bad week when you're going to Demario Douglas and Noah Brown. So our, our, Jesus. Our lineup optimizer last week had Demario in two lineups, and I didn't know why, and then Kendrick Bourne got hurt. But he still, he still didn't do much, you know. Uh, that's That's right. Or in uh, ACL is done for the year. So Alave, Mike Thomas, pop for me for the Saints and stacking him with Carr. I like that. Thielen is just a, a security blanket for for Bryce Young. I know he he's he's expensive this week, but I mean he's getting eight catches for like hundred yards and sometimes a tutty. Uh, you're gonna need that this week. I really like this rookie from North Carolina Downs uh, for the Colts. Fits we hit his uh, big Kahuna auto. We were hype. He's still uh, a good price. And then I really like the Bears to keep uh, Pepper and uh, DJ Moore. Uh, he's just a good PPR guy to have, especially this week when it is hard to fit. Well, not fit, but hard to get the really good players up top. 
because they're so expensive. And then you have just really bad players. So DJ Moore is still a good price. So I like DJ. All right, what about tight end? Tight end is really ugly. My advice to you is to stack the tight end with the quarterback. So I think I can speak for both of us, Duke. McBride is a good one-off uh, for the Cardinals. Uh, do you have anybody else? Yeah, I mean, McBride made his money last week, and, and the, for the same reason he will this week. You know, when you're down two touchdowns and the defense is in prevent, you know, you're just dumping it. You're continuously dumping it down to backs and tight ends. And so McBride caught a lot of balls towards the end of that game, which, which including a, a, a really gutsy touchdown, which helped us. But uh, I'm going to play him again. He's still cheap. And then Hawkinson, obviously, whoever's going to play quarterback will be new. <laughs> and uh, he's a big target, easy to find. So give me yeah, Hawkinson. Yeah, those, those quarterbacks can't throw it far, look for their tight ends. And so that gets me to Chicago. Another play that you might want is Cole Komet. He had a good uh, week last week, and he is good value. Breaking news, since we just did the college basketball uh, podcast earlier, Bobby Knight, RIP. RIP. I, I didn't know that. Yeah, I just found out. I just got the text. Oh, man. Big, big legend. Oh, man. Yeah. Let's pull one out for him. All right. What about, I guess, sorry to bring down the podcast, but lock of the week. Survivor pick. The only one left is Fitz. He's been rolling. Me and Duke got knocked out in week three. Fitz has gone Ravens, Bills, Chiefs, Niners, Lions, Dolphins, Seahawks, Chargers. Oh, my. In in this crazy week, I wonder what he's going to do, so we'll get to him in a second. Denny, do you have a lock this week? Since you guys let me take a slightly above break-even two-team parlay last week, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna throw in a three team parlay this week. Look at uh, you. Just to, lock of the week. This is bold. I'm, I'm teasing. I'm sorry. I'm, to be, I'm teasing. Teasing. It's teasing. Sorry. It's like yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. So I did a two team. Uh, I believe it was a seven point teaser last week, and I and I won comfortably. So Chargers and Ravens, correct? Yes. No, that's not right. Last week was uh, Ravens and Ravens. Lions. Yeah, Ravens and Lions. So this week, teasing at seven points. Gets me the Browns down to half a point. They've got to they've got to win. The Commanders getting up to ten and a half. Just don't lay an egg, Commanders. And finally, the Rams getting ten on the dot plus ten. So give me a seven point teaser. That's plus one twenty on Fanduel. Lock it up. I love it. And Denny's five and three overall this year. Uh, I had the Ravens minus eight and a half as my lock last week. Wolf, uh, it's still six and two on the year. You saw how the Ravens lost that. So they were down two touchdowns. Wait, sorry, so, they, so they were they had they, a chance? They, they, yes, listen to this. Oh, my God. You didn't God. watch it. I didn't yeah. watch it. Oh, my so God. they score to cut it to 10, and they go for two, and you're fading the two-point conversion. They don't get it, so you think you've won. Onside kick, Aguilar boots it off his shin. Oh, my God, that guy. They, Aguilar is their, their hands guy. They have two hands guys. No it's, way. It's freaking Aguilar. That's insane. That's insane. And so then, right, so then they're down 10, so you think they're going to try to score. They kick a field goal. Kick a field goal with 26 seconds left. And they cover. Unbelievable. Yeah. That pisses me. Why'd you tell me that? Oh, my gosh. That's insane. All right. Let's get to the man who actually f- on his locks. But that don't matter because he's our survivor master. It also doesn't matter because I'll bleep that out. <laughs> uh, survivor pick. Cleveland Browns. Okay. At home against the Cardinals. Clayton Toon. That secondary. I like I it. I like the Brownies. My lock. Texans, minus two and a half at home, coming off a bye against Derek Wanger's Bucks. My my team. I love the Texans. They're a wagon, baby. I love that pick. Let's ride. Let's ride. And then for me, my lock, I just went with the Sharps on this. Yeah, that's yeah. right. There was a light. Me and Duke didn't have this pick. <laughs> it was like two or three Sharps. I were like, Chiefs bounce back, minus two and a half versus Dolphins. And so... I, I like, love it. I like I love Mahomes it. coming off of a loss. I love Mahomes. Okay, so good. Got it two and a half. Got to love it. Sharps, baby. I'm one of them. All right. <laughs> so uh, you can you can't get that anymore, but I got it. It's it's moving. Yes, I know. I know. I was, so yes, you wouldn't want it two and a half. You can get it at one and a half. Correct. Because you're laying the points. All right, let's yeah. move on. Okay. And All right. So, anyways, this hard. Math, 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 math. All right, we got Duke's teaser, Browns, Commanders, Rams. We got 
Fitz taking Browns and Survivor. Texans minus two and a half. And I got Chiefs minus two and a half. You can get them at minus one and a half. Still like it. Let's go. All right. Cards. We will be in Dallas this week. So come see us if you can. And with market movers as well, speaking of cards, you can save 20% after a free 14-day trial. Visit marketmoversapp.com and use the promo code No off season all right fellas anything to add on this exciting episode with our buddy shane thanks for coming shane thanks for coming shane all the way from florida all right well that's going to be all for today good luck with your bets thanks to our listeners for riding with graybos and be sure to tune in next time leave us a five-star review be sure to check out graybosgiblets.com for all of our information links to our discord etc we out Giblets. Closed eyes when I go to sleep. I don't see sheep, see dollar signs. Hundred dog got him beat the eyes for the hundredth time at a money line. Brock Purdy was irrelevant. Now I'm at the front like a cutting line. G5 to the power five. Grey was on fire like a summertime. I know they watching. I'ma make them sweat. Put your money down. Place your bet. Degenerate. Yeah, I'm a sicko. Who else gonna get you to the window? I know they watching, I'ma make them sweat. Put your money down, place your bet. Degenerate, yeah, I'm a sicko. Who else gonna get you to the window?